welcome to Calorult Creations and a different kind of vlog because usually I'm like welcome to Calorult Creations my name is Louisa Calorult I work as an illustrator but the thing is I do so much more than just work as an illustrator I'm trying to juggle a lot of balls right now and I thought it would be a nice thing to document and also a, an opportunity for me to actually produce some content to put up on YouTube because as you will see uh, my schedule is jam-packed at the moment and it was perhaps a bit naive of me thinking like oh I'm gonna return to YouTube and then boom 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 all of the things happened and I have like so much to do so as you saw in the beginning of the video I did a brain dump I basically just wrote down everything I was thinking about that I needed to do that's kind of urgent and that's, you know, floating around in the headspace. Uh, I always like to just put things down on paper, then it's easier for me to um, sort them, compartmentalize, like what am I gonna do by the computer, how long time is this gonna take, everything like that. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things. This, this is going to be like a day in the life of, um, of me <laughs> so my current occupation and things that are like big in my life I am a freelancer a self-employed uh, illustrator I am currently working on um, illustrations for an upcoming game so it's gonna be like a little card game so I'm gonna do about 20 illustrations for that and it's quite tight deadline so that's something I'm gonna be working on I um, am employed by a pet, sh uh, pet shop chain, so I am writing product text for them. I um, help with, um, they have like people coming and talking about their expertise, so I am one of those pulling the strings like, can you come and talk about this, can you come and talk about that? Um, what else am I doing there? I used to write some articles. I'm basically just, you know, doing whatever they need me to. I'm also responsible for uh, social media promotion of a dog training facility. Uh, so that takes up quite a lot of time. And speaking of said dog training facility, I'm currently um, temporarily in charge of all the administration around that. So scheduling classes, talking to uh, potential clients that want to come and take classes, um, sending out welcome to this dog class email thing. Yeah, it's a lot of things right now uh, surrounding that and also it was kind of just, you know, poof, like this. So it's a lot of things I have to um, take in. Um, and then I'm also teaching dog class. Let's see now how many things we have. Uh, Self-employed illustrator. Uh, I have my half-time gig uh, doing all of the things administrative and then extra for the dog training facility. I am teaching dog classes uh, one day a week so that takes up quite a lot of time because I'm planning, teaching and then sending out emails like this is what we did, I'm, uh, yeah all of that. I am finally writing my thesis for my bachelor degree and <laughs> I told my like supervisors and all of those people like yeah so springtime 2023 let's do it and then things got postponed a bit a couple of months and then everything else started piling on top so I was like no I'm not gonna drop this ball I am gonna write my thesis and then I have two kids that takes up some time and I have a dog that's um, She's lovely. Uh, you, you have seen her a bunch of times. I am training her because we're gonna be competing. So, and also she's in a little bit of a rehab program. So that takes up some time. And then also, I have a house. Not just me. I mean, I have a partner, my kid's dad. We're a family. So it's not just the responsibility, it's not just mine. But there are things you have to do in a house, like dust and especially when said dog is shedding like crazy our house is ugh. I mean we have um, a robot vacuum cleaner on the base floor um, 
ground floor and we actually <laughs> have a robot vacuum cleaner on this floor in which my office is, is, is situated so and then we also go around with a handheld vacuum cleaner and also yeah so I need to like dust the entire place because there is hair everywhere uh, I also have an aquarium so that doesn't take up that much time but I need to do what changes in that so instead of just you know this is like a studio vlog I'm just talking about the parts I do for my illustration gig and just point out different things I'm gonna try to be like this is my day and we're gonna have aspects of everything in this vlog and as I said currently it's my life is like jam-packed and I do not want to promote the hustle culture the do all the things culture um, I want to promote a healthy lifestyle uh, however this is I see this is a, like a season in my life this is currently it's not very healthy because it's just go 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 and consume a lot of coffee so I'm, I'm trying to to see like some kind of um, not an end to things but like when can I get a little break uh, so I can recuperate and that's also when my dog comes in because she's like oh I need to go out potty and I'm like yes you do let's go for a walk so instead of me going out for a walk just for me because that's uh, like hard for me to justify stupidly enough it's easier to be like obviously the dog needs to go out and then I get to go out so yeah kind of obvious but yes oh also fun thing next week coming uh, from Sunday today is Friday so from Sunday and perhaps two weeks we're gonna be dog sitting another Australian Shepherd as well so that's gonna be fun uh, I'm gonna record a video for Patreon I think um, about our dog sitting adventures also yeah I have a Patreon I think I've mentioned that uh, a couple of times but perhaps not in this video I don't know if I, I brought that up as one of the things I'm doing um, I'm gonna start a thesis vlog over there so a little bit of what you see today um, particularly the things that has to do with my thesis I'm gonna do a dedicated thesis vlog series over there where I talk a lot more about uh, what I'm doing in my thesis what um, um, interesting articles and stuff I encounter so for you who don't know I studied ethology and animal behavior ethology is animal behavior I'm kind of tired I'm pooped uh, <laughs> uh, at university and um, now I'm gonna be writing a thesis and uh, the topic is going to be basically like you have dog breeders and in Sweden it's mostly common to buy your puppy from a dog breeder because we don't have shelters in the same extent as you do in like the US so here's like of course you can adopt not shop but um, most puppies come from responsible breeders or you know a varying degree of responsible breeders and then we have a few uh, organizations that work with like rehoming dogs uh, we have a few shelters that's like official shelters and then we have some organization that imports shelter dogs from other countries so I mean you have the opportunity to adopt but if you want a puppy uh, raise it from puppyhood and also if you really want to know you know pedigree of the dog and has the parent been health tested and set you up for the best possible situation hopefully with health and uh, like competing and all that yeah Th this is a whole nother topic I wasn't gonna go into it but anyway I am going to write my thesis about like what are the knowledge that the breeders possess like how do they obtain information and how do they um, convey this information to the puppy buyers so it's gonna be like in terms of nutrition and healthcare and all of that because sometimes breeders are like saying such weird things and the puppy buyers are like oh but you are a breeder so you are obviously someone I can trust so yeah <laughs> that's basically what my thesis is going to be about today i have a meeting with my supervisor for my thesis in about two hours and beforehand i need to work more on uh, my initial 
um, plan, I guess it's called. You, you send in like arbetsplan. <laughs> I'm just gonna add the word here, what it's called in English. I uh, should have looked it up. I'm gonna add a word here. So I'm gonna um, uh, work on my reference list and add some more texts to it. And then I'm gonna have that meeting. And then my main focus after that meeting is going to be some of my illustration work. Because as I said, I have quite a tight deadline on those uh, illustrations. So first thesis work, then self-employed illustration work and then uh, I have a doctor's appointment with my son and I also need to squeeze in several hours of um, day job stuff. I think I have actually almost completed all of my um, contracted hours for this week but I have some things that are really important that they get done today so I'm gonna try to work as little as possible on my day job because I've already worked almost too much this week but uh, as I said I have a bunch of things to do that needs to get done that's time sensitive you see I, ca I can describe things in several ways <laughs> okay so let's let's do this Hey guys and welcome to the official start of my thesis vlogs here on Patreon. So I am currently writing on my um, independent project work plan and I am trying to re-familiarize myself with like reference system like we're doing the Harvard reference system on um, the university I am gonna write my thesis in. So yeah that's um, I haven't been thinking about how to handle references for quite some time. It is almost one o'clock. I have had my meeting with uh, my supervisor and other parties that are interested in um, the thesis I'm gonna be writing. Um, I have about 20 minutes until I have to go to my kids' school and pick him up. Uh, to go to a doctor's appointment and also I forgot to tell you that uh, <laughs> uh, my youngest, my daughter, she has been homesick today so she's been so good when I, while I was on um, my Zoom call until like the last 20 minutes because then she was like oh I'm so hungry like eat something you are almost seven years old you can just pick something from the cupboard or the fridge and eat something so she was just moaning <laughs> and being so feeling so much sorry for herself for not having a mom that's like attention um so yeah poor her anyway um the thing is she has a cough and whenever she's get a cough it lingers for several weeks so the school sends her home and at home she's like obnoxiously energized <laughs> but since since she's still coughing she's not allowed to go to school uh, so now my my mother-in-law and my partner's grandma uh, came by to pick her up and go on a little outing uh, and per usual this is a thing that's uh, a rem reminder or a remainder I guess something that still occurs after I had um, a massive burnout in 2015 uh, I forget important details so I was doing my schedule for today trying to figure out like okay what can i do when i always tend to schedule in too much so for example before my meeting i had planned to change the references in my work plan add some text i was gonna start a thesis vlog for patreon those things i did but i also thought that i was gonna have time to send out a bunch of uh day job related emails um and then, for some reason, I planned to do things in between my Zoom call that would have ended at 12 and I'm gonna pick up my son, so his appointment is at 2. Uh, and in that time, I was supposed to cook and feed my kid and myself and go to the school and pick up Linus, but 
all of those things, they just vanished. So for me, I saw the, the time slots like 11 and 2. And there's several hours in between. Like, yeah, you have meeting for one hour. <laughs> yeah. So I have uh, underestimated um, how much time things take. So as I said, now I have probably about 15 minutes since I've been yabbling on here. Um, so I'm just gonna send those emails that I didn't send previously and when I get back from the meeting I uh, need to continue on working on my uh, work plan thing for my thesis and submit that and also answer some emails that has popped up in regards to my day job. So go go go! <laughs> As they say, the best laid plans. Uh, it's uh, almost six o'clock in the evening. I have just finished the things I set out to do before my meeting at 11 o'clock. I have done a lot of other things because there has been emails popping up and things that I had to sort out and I've done a lot of work, but uh, yeah, now <laughs> I have finished what I had anticipated that I would get down, get done uh, during the first hours of the, of the day. So I have, um, I've told my family that, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have supper with you, but I'm gonna be working all night long. So now I am gonna shut down everything that has to do with my day job. I have sent out all of the emails telling people like, yeah, so thank you for coming to the class yesterday with these exercises, blah, blah, blah. And I've sent out a uh, welcome to a class people have uh, signed up for <laughs> so they know like all of the details and stuff. I've sent out those kind of emails. I have booked a Teams meeting with uh, a bunch of people for next week. We're gonna talk about um, people coming to uh, talk about things they are experts in. Uh, so they're gonna be some kind of live event. So yeah, I've done a lot of work uh, that's just... I'm, I'm a bit tired in my brain. I could use, you know, food for my brain. But uh, yes, now, while I still have some brain juice, I'm gonna go through two emails. One is like not a review, but just checking in uh, how the game I'm gonna be illustrating things for, how, like the template, what it looks like. And then I have another email as a client who wants me to illustrate stuff for um, a PhD thesis or dissertation. Uh, so I'm gonna look at how many different elements she wants me to illustrate and give her a quote on how much I would charge to do that work. So that's nice. So that t that needs some brain energy. And then when I have used up the last of my <laughs> brain energy, I'm gonna be drawing. So that's quite nice. I have a bunch of um, sketches already done. So I'm gonna start refining those sketches for the game illustration. So I'm gonna show you those. That'll probably be the next clip because it's not so much fun. Look at me just. Uh, thinking. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna be quality YouTube content, so I think the next clip will be me working on the sketches. Okay, so things didn't go as quickly as I had assumed, so it's currently 
9 o'clock and now I'm starting with these tasks. So I have uh, a bunch of sketches that I'm gonna extract from my little sketch file here and create individual files for and then I'm gonna start refining these um, all of the different sketches. Some of them are actually gonna change uh, their appearance as well. So I have um, a few hours of work before me now and then for the rest of the weekend as well I'm just gonna be drawing 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 like crazy but it's gonna be so much fun I looked at the um, uh, templates that these illustrations are gonna go on and this game is gonna be awesome so yeah I'm really looking forward to this project so now I'm just gonna watch some YouTube vlogs oh sorry not the prettiest <laughs> still frame I'm just gonna watch some vlogs and work on my sketches. Oh, and also I published um, my thesis vlog, my first thesis vlog. I published that on Patreon. Uh, so by the time you're watching this, that vlog will be up, perhaps even another one. We'll see how much time I get to devote to my thesis work. Uh, but I go into depth about all of the background and questions and all of that. So. If you want more nerdiness, hop on over to Patreon and watch my thesis vlog. Yeah, now back to work. It is time to call it a night. It's uh, almost midnight and I have been working on all of the sketches so I transferred them to separate layers like their own file and refined several of them from the little thumbnail sketch. So I have plenty more work to do but I've really made a dent here with my um, 
with my work today. So I would like to thank you all for tagging along today. Uh, it was a um, mishmash of a day. A lot of uh, uh, mom stuff and uh, working on my thesis, working on my day job, working on my self-employed business, everything. So yeah, if you want to see more, as I mentioned, I have a Patreon channel where I post vlogs and uh, other kind of videos quite often. So. Um, there is a lot of more content over there and I I aim to post more here on YouTube but as I said and as you've mentioned uh, as, as you've seen I kind of have a lot on my plates so um, yeah anyway thank you again for watching have a lovely day hey do